All right, hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com. Uh, finishing up part two, or continuing with part two of our tutorial on our online guest and member system. So uh, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. So basically what we're doing is we're handling the MySQL queries for when we're not logged in and we're a guest. So first query that we're going to want to do is we're going to set up SQL three is equal to MySQL underscore query to do inside there our query is going to be replace into active underscore guess and we're going to say the first one with values of the second parentheses just get those out of the way first one we're going to do is guest underscore IP comma time underscore visited and within the values parentheses need two values, so two single quotes, a comma, two single quotes. Inside of both of those, we're going to put two double quotes, and inside of those, two periods. So we can put our variables in there. And the first one's going to be guest underscore IP. And within the second value, we're going to put our time variable as well. Okay, so basically that will take care of uh, putting a value in the database in the guest or member depending on if they're logged in or not and then it will remove it from the guest table if they are logged in and put it in the member table and vice versa so if they're logging out they're going to take their value out of the member table and put it into the guest table so it sounds a little confusing but that's sort of what it does so we have a little bit more querying to do and basically this will just check to see if the users are logged in or not or I'm sorry if the, if the timeout has occurred so once again, guests have a timeout of two minutes, and members have a timeout of five minutes. So if any of those times are over their limits from the time being updated, it will be removed and they will no longer be in the system. So the first query that we're going to do for that is, let me just get it all set up here, and I'll start talking, is we're going to say delete from active underscore guests where time underscore visited is less than um, and then after this last parentheses or double quote here we're just gonna put a period and we're gonna put dollar sign guest timeout and what that will do is it checks uh, the time visited category and it will delete the active guess where the any active guess that the time visit is less than two minutes. So hope that makes sense. Uh, we're going to go into the next query that will delete the member that has been timed out. So I'm going to say delete from active members where time underscore visited is less than and then once again we're gonna say after the double quote we're gonna say dot uh, member timeout oops not members member timeout okay and then to get our values for our guests and our users so we can have a uh, account we're gonna do two more queries we're just gonna say mysql underscore query and we're going to say um, select. Oops, I suppose you put them in quotes here. Select guest underscore IP from active guests. And then under that, we're just going to do. Um, online underscore guest variable is equal to the mysql underscore num rows of our query of sql6 which is selecting all the guest ips from uh, the active guest table so that will give us a number for online guest okay next one we're going to do we're going to say sql7 is equal to mysql underscore query of select um, user 
name from active underscore members and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to say online underscore members is equal to mysql num rows of sql7 all right so basically what we can do with these two values now is we're going to display them on our page so we need active or online guests and online members to be right here where these zeros are so first we need to replace the zero with the PHP block and inside our PHP block we're just gonna say echo online underscore guests semicolon and then for the members we're just gonna copy and paste this PHP block that we just typed in and then we're gonna change online guest to online members Okay, so let's go back over to our site and we're going to refresh our page. We're going to get an error because I just realized that um, we are not connected to the database at all. So at the top here, under session start, we're just going to say MySQL connection. And we're just going to say host, or I'm sorry, MySQL underscore connect and inside those parentheses we're just going to put uh, we need a host value username and a password so my host is just localhost it's actually the same as what is right here so we're just going to copy this from the login page and actually we're just going to do that so save that refresh the page and now we have one online member. Oh, we still have an error. Say undefined variable member time out on line 28. So what's line 28? Uh, active members member time out. Did I say members? Yep, I just said members time out. Let's change that to member time out up here. Go ahead and refresh our page. And now we have one member it says I am logged in and we have no guests. So let's create a logout uh, link to log us out. So first thing we need to do is underneath all of our HTML right here, let's just put a link that says href is equal to logout.php and we're just going to say logout, close off our link, do that, and we're going to go ahead and create a new file, open and close PHP blocks. And inside there, we're going to or first let's save it as logout.php. Save it. And we're going to say session start underscore start. Sorry about that. And then we're just going to do session underscore destroy, which will destroy the sessions. And then we're going to say header. And inside of there, we're going to do location. And then we're just going to put uh, login.php. And we're just going to throw an exit there just to be safe. So go back here. I'm going to refresh this page. Log out. Or actually, we're going to change it so it goes back to our index page. We're going to say log out. Undefined index user in line 19. Oh. But you do see you have an online guest and online member. So we know there's a problem in line 19 of our index page. So let's see if session ID user. Oh, let's add this is set parentheses and at the end parentheses as well. Go ahead and refresh that. See what happens. It gets rid of there, but there's still a member in our system. So go log out again. No. Nope. Hold on, let me see what's happening and fix this error. Okay, I'm back, and I found out why it did not remove it from the online members database. It is because we forgot to remove them when we logged out. So basically, between session start and session destroy, we need to run a SQL query, say MySQL underscore query, and then we're going to do delete 
from active underscore members where I'm going to say username is equal to two single quotes inside there, two double quotes inside there, two periods, and we're going to say under dollar sign underscore su or session, sorry, and then two bracket or your brackets, two single quotes, and then we're going to say user. So we're going to save and refresh this. We're going to go back. We're going to click log out. Oh, let's okay. Hold on, there's still an error. Oh, I know why. It's because we're not logged in, so we cannot uh, log out with that member or username. So um, I'm just going to throw a link in here. Another one. Duplicate this line. We're just going to change this to login. Just because I'm lazy and don't feel like typing it in. So refresh this page. Click login. Oh, and I think, did you see? It did go away, even though we're not logged in. It's been five minutes for a member since I've uh, refreshed this page, and so it did, did go away. So if we log in, Tim Kip again, one, two, three, log in. And you can see here, zero guests, one member, I'm logged in, let me log out. And I'm sorry, it's still not removing it from the members table. Hmm. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. Hold on. Alright, I'm an idiot. Say it now. We can't delete from the database because we're not connected to the database. So, basically, I'm just going to quick do this real quick. Select this code right here to connect to the database. And in our login page, um, right under session start, we're just going to paste that in. Now we're going to save this. Hit log out. Because we're not logged in, let's log back in. Just to make sure. Log in. Zero guests, one member. Log out. There you go. F logged out, one guest. Log back in. Just to test it one more time, just to see if there's any flukes. Members, I'm logged in. I'm not a guest anymore since I'm logged in. I'm going to log out to become a guest. It's going to run. It's going to switch it. So there you go. Basically, long story short, active guests, active members, and a user table. And then we have three files. We have login, index, and logout. So, and make sure you're connecting to the database so you don't run into problems like I had. So, um, so yeah, that will do it for our two-part series on an active... Um, member and guest system. So I hope you enjoyed and rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.